In this devlog, I'll be upgrading my current Ruby version of 2.3.1 to 2.3.3 using RVM on an Ubuntu-based system 16.10. So if I type ruby-v, it will show me the currently installed Ruby version 2.3.1. To list the possible Ruby versions that I can install, I can simply type RVM list known. And under the MRI Ruby section, which is the standard Ruby implementation, I can upgrade it to 2.3.3. I do this by typing in RVM install 2.3.3 and wait for all the dependencies to download and finish installing. Now, if I use a gem installed from Ruby 2.3.1, such as Rails, if I type in the command which Rails, it will show me that it's being called from a gem set 2.3.1. This is how RVM uh, works, basically. It will put the installations of different Ruby versions into its own container, usually residing in a .rvm folder under the home directory of your system. So once it's finished installing, if we type in which Ruby, you can see that we're now using the 2.3.3 version. But if we log into a new terminal and type which Ruby in that new terminal, we can see that we're still using the previously installed 2.3.1 version. Now to fix this problem, we'll tell the system to use the 2.3.3 version by default by typing in RVM use 2.3.3 dash dash default. So when we log into a new terminal or a new session, we can now see that we're using the 2.3.3 version. So for this freshly installed version 2.3.3, I won't have my previously installed gems such as bundler or rails. I'll have to reinstall them again by typing the command gem install bundler or gem install rails while using the 2.3.3 version. But this task becomes too tedious, especially if you want to copy all gems from the old version to the new one. So to solve this problem, what we can do is we can issue the command rvm gem set copy pass to it the old version, in this case 2.3.1, and the new version, in this case 2.3.3, to tell RVM to make a copy of all the gems in the old version and put it in the container for the newly installed Ruby version. So in summary, RVM is a good way to manage several versions of Ruby in a single system. A use case for this is that if you want to work on a project that would like to stick to a particular version of Ruby, but at the same time you'd like to use a more updated version of Ruby for other types of projects.